Hi kids, it's really good to see you and I'm going to share with you these, these two books. Okay, the first is The Little Engine That Could. And uh, here's The Little Engine That Could, okay? Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. But not all was all so well. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls, like golden apples, red-cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, and peppermint drops and lollipops for after-meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go any further. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What are all these good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play and with all the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. So all the dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? <clears throat> our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. See, he's bright, shiny, and very proud. Next page. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pulled you. I'm a passenger train. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you can dream of. My train has sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people could sit in soft armchairs and look out at the plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you? <laughs> Indeed not. And off. Ooh. And off he steamed to the roadhouse where engines live where they are not busy. He had the little train and all the dolls and toys filled. Then the little clown pulled out the passenger train, called out the passenger train, is not the only one in the world. Here's another engine coming, a great, big, strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little clown, the little boy clown waved his flag and the big, strong engine came to stop. Oh, please, oh, please, big engine, cried the big, called the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down. And the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big, strong angel, the engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I just pulled a big train load with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine pulled off. Let's see what happened. 
the little train and the, all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired. But our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty, old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed, I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even a little train of yours so that mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. Let's see. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse, chugging, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then, indeed, the little train was very, very sad, and the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here's another engine coming up, a little blue engine. A very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chugging, chugging merrily along. When she saw the toys, toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. What's the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Once again, our engine has broken down, and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with, a, with or have any good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us. Mm. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train and tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, slowly, slowly they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the dolls and the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, with a little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster, the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain, down in the valley lay the city. Hooray! Hooray! cried the little clown and all the dolls and toys. The, the good little boys and girls in the city will be so happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say, as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. And that is the story. If you really think you can, you can. You just have to try.